Hey, good morning, guys. Got a little bit of fog out there. I don't know if it show up on the camera. But 6.30 in the morning here, Friday morning. Thought I'd walk out and check out the early mornings. I've been out here early for quite a while. It's pretty. I like what's coming out. Seeing what will move out here. Way up there, sitting out on the deck. The birds up there is really active. They're really active up there. So I've got 2 Timothy 1 and verse 12 today. And the sunshine's coming up. It's going to be a beautiful day. But I want to read some references that I've got tied. 2 Second Timothy 1 12 and these come out of uh, I stick with Paul's writings because the risen Christ revealed things to Paul that he didn't reveal to anybody else so I stick with Paul's letters because therefore the body of Christ which we are And when you see that and understand that, man, that's so neat because now you don't have to go through and and try to make sense out of why James, the book of James says one thing and and Paul's writings says something else. So <laughs> that's why we stick with Paul's writings because we don't mix them up. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John is wrote to the same people that James and Hebrews, Revelation, 1st, 2nd, 3rd John, Jude, those are all wrote for the Israelites. Circumcision. So, Anyway, let me get over here and we'll get a get a place here that I can see. All right. So it says here in 2 Timothy, For which cause I am suffering these things, but I am not ashamed, for I am aware whom I have believed and am persuaded that he is able to guard what is committed to me for that day. On this behalf, I, Paul, the prisoner of Christ Jesus, for you, the nations, since surely you hear the administration of the grace of God that God has given to me for you. For by revelation the secret is made known to me, according as I write before in brief, by which you who are reading are able to apprehend my understanding in the secret of Christ, which in other generations is not made known to the sons of humanity, as it was now revealed to his holy prophets, holy apostles and prophets. In spirit, the nations are to be joint enjoyers of an allotment and a joint body, and joint partakers of the promise in Christ Jesus through the evangel of which I became the dispenser in accord with the gratuity of the grace of God which is granted to me in accord with his powerful operation to me less than the least of all saints was granted this grace to bring the, the evangel of the untraceable riches of Christ to the nations forbidding us to speak to the nations that they may be saved to fill up their sins always. Yet the indignation outstrips them to a consummation. You may not 
be ashamed then of the testimony of our Lord, nor yet of me, his prisoner. But suffer evil with the evangel and accord with the power of God. Remember Jesus Christ, who has been roused from among the dead, is the seed of David, according to my evangel, in which I am suffering evil unto bonds as a male factor. But the word of God is not bound. Now, you fully follow me in my teaching. Motive, purpose, faith, patience, love, endurance, persecutions, sufferings, such as occurred to me in Antioch, and Ichim in Listeria, persecutions such as I was un such as I undergo, and out of them all the Lord rescues me. All who are wanting to live devoutly in Christ Jesus shall be persecuted. Yet wicked men and swindlers shall wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. At my first defense, no one came along with me, but all forsook me. May it not be reckoned against them. Yet the Lord stood beside me, and he invigorates me, that through me the heralding may be fully discharged. And all nations should hear, and I am rescued out of the mouth of the lion. through whom we have the excess also by faith into this grace in which we stand. Only we may, not, only we may be glorying in the expectation of the glory of God. Yet not only so, but we may be glorying also in afflictions, having perceived that affliction is producing endurance. Endurance, testedness, testedness, expectation. Now, expectation is not mortifying, seeing that the love of God has been poured out in our hearts through the Holy Spirit, which is being given to us. According as it is written, Lo, I am laying a, in Zion a stumbling stone and a snare rock. And the one bleeding on him shall not, shall not be disgraced. For I am aware that for me this will be eventuating in salvation through your petitions and the supply of the Spirit of Christ Jesus. In accord with the premonition and expectation that in nothing shall I be put to shame. But with all boldness, as always, now also Christ shall be magnified in my body, whether through life or through death. For God gives us not a spirit of timidity, but of power and of love and of sanity. You may not be ashamed, then, of the testimony of our Lord, nor yet of me, his prisoner, but suffer evil with the evangel in accord with the power of God. Be sure, but to be sure, I am also deeming all to be a forfeit because of the superiority of the knowledge of Christ Jesus, my Lord, because of whom I for forfeit it all, and am deeming it refuge, that I should be gaining Christ.
to know him and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his sufferings conforming to his death. And again, Isaiah is saying, Praise the Lord, all the nations, and let all the people laud him. And again, Isaiah is saying, Praise the Lord, all the nations, and, and let all the people laud him. Again, Isaiah is saying, There will be the root of Jesse, and he who is raising to be chief of the nations. On him will the nations rely. Now, may the God of expectation be filling you with all joy and peace in believing. For you to be superabounding in expectation in the power of Holy Spirit. That we should be for the Lord of His glory who are pre-expectant in Christ. In whom you also, on hearing the word of truth, the evangel of your salvation, in whom on believing you are sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise, getting a reminder of the unfeigned faith which is in you, which first makes its home in your grandmother Lois and your mother Eunice. Now I am persuaded that it is in you also. who will transfigure the body of our humiliation to conform it to the body of His glory in accord with the operation which enables Him even to subject all to Himself. That which is committed to you, guard, turning aside from the profane prattlings and anticipies of falsely named knowledge. Now, you, brethren, are not in darkness, that the day may be overtaking you as a thief. For you are all sons of the light and sons of day. We are not of the night nor of the darkness. Furthermore, there is reserved for me the wreath of righteousness, which the Lord, the just judge, will be paying to me in that day, yet not only to me, but also to all who love his advent. And that's the references to 2 Timothy 1, verse 12. We won't add anything to scripture. I'll put that up. I think I'm going to go across this and find me a spot to get down in there. That gets a little deep right there for what my little boots are. So we'll go up through here. Look at that on top of this tree right here. I don't know what that is. That's either a... I don't know. Let me step up and see if it flies off. It's a big bird. Can't make out if it's a red tailed hawk. Might be, or a turkey buzzard. Maybe a turkey buzzard. Sitting on top of an elm tree. Yeah. We'll leave it there. <laughs> anyway, it's going to be an awesome day. See that fog down there on that bottom? These fields will gather it up and the, down the bottom, these trees will hold it in. The sun will come up and burn it off. And that is a turkey buzzard. That's what that is. All right. Well, it's going to be an awesome day.
So we'll see what God's got. You all ready? I think I am. It's going to be a beautiful day. I'll see you all tomorrow. Have an awesome day. I love you guys. See you then.